All right, guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and welcome to another episode of Tool Tuesday. Now, each and every Tuesday at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we go over different tools found in the RC Workshop. Now, this week, we're going to be focusing on uh, different temp readers. Uh, these are basically little devices that actually tell you the temperature of certain parts of your remote control vehicles. Now with this I am going to stay pretty much electric focused. I know that nitro guys use these things for different things so being uh, not a nitro expert I really can't comment on that but maybe you can throw that down in the comment section of what you use your temp reader for uh, on the nitro side. So electric side it is so important to have a good uh, temp reader. And the reason why I always uh, say this in the comics is check your temps is because that will pretty much tell you if there's something wrong with a vehicle. Much like uh, us humans, if the, you have a temperature, that means that there's something going on inside your body that isn't going on good. So <laughs> with that, uh, the same relates to remote control vehicles. Now, um, I have had this Duratrax one here for, God, like five years now. Uh, this is an Ofna version, very similar to the Duratrax, um, pretty much reads temperatures. Now, the far one here, the Track Power, just recently picked this one up, and that one not only reads temperatures, but also does a little stopwatch feature, which is kind of like a multitask item. Now, why you want to read your temperatures? Uh, pretty much three temperatures you want to take. You want to take a reading of your motor, which is most important, your ESC, and then also your battery. Those are the three temps on electric vehicles that you always want to know. Now, the motor is going to basically tell you um, if you're running the right gearing, that's going to tell you if, you know, maybe you can go up a couple of teeth if you need a little bit more top end speed. Maybe you should go down because your temp is reaching a certain uh, parameter that's not good um, from the whoever made the motor. So uh, specific temperatures, you definitely want to check your owner's manual of the actual electronics or check out the website of who makes that particular product. Now with that, you definitely want to check your ESC because that's going to tell you maybe there's some binding going on. Maybe there's an electrical short somewhere. Um, usually high um, temps on ESCs, there's something wrong somewhere. Uh, motors, pretty much it's the uh, gearing that's causing the issue or maybe there's binding. Maybe there's uh, a blown out bearing of some sort. Um, the last thing is your battery. Definitely want to take a temperature of that. You know, when you're pulling it straight off the track, you know, 105 degrees, anything more than that, there's something wrong somewhere. So uh, keep that in mind as well. And you also don't want to charge batteries straight off the track. You want to let them rest, uh, give them a little bit of a break, and uh, get them back to the ambient temperature, or about 75 degrees would be ideal. So um, with that, uh, let's take a look at this often one right here. Um, you know, pretty straightforward. Uh, it You pretty much turn it on, tells you your ambient temperature right there, and you don't have to really get it onto the item but as close as possible is always ideal. Now right now in my studio 77.9 degrees and all is good. It gives you a little max reading right there. I'm going to go ahead and stick this up to one of my fluorescent uh, studio lights and let's check the temperature of that thing. And we're reading at right about 143 degrees for a fluorescent light tube. So definitely warmer and you definitely want to check your temperatures you know for fresh electronics you want to check it after your first lap after that you know maybe every couple of laps keep an eye on it if you're pretty consistent with your builds you want to go ahead and check it after each run and just notate it mentally if you want to write it down you can you can also throw it into your smartphone or whatnot but uh, in the end you just want to keep track of your temperature so right here the Duratrax this one is you know been through hell a little bit higher rating right there, 82.5, uh, but, you know, awesome little uh, temp reader there. So, and then the last one here, this is the track power, just getting used to it. Uh, had it in a hot area, so it's seeing it's like 100 degrees right there. So, that'll cool down once uh, the unit cools down. But, anyways, guys, quick little tip here from the RC Network. Temp readers, get one. Um, you know, they definitely help uh, in every application of RC, including electric. Well... That's it, guys. If you have any comments or questions, please throw them on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.